Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new bi-weekly video on my channel. In this episode, we're gonna cover five amazing tools that you can use as a UI UX designer. So let's just get started and I'll show you guys the first one. So all of these tools I have personally used in the past and I've used them thoroughly, so I know that they are good and I wouldn't prescribe them to you guys if I didn't know that personally. So the first one that has helped me a lot in my design career or my, like, my experience has been checklist design. Now, I first saw this one on, I think, a forum but it is really good. And if you guys don't know about it, this is basically what it does. So in summary, it's pretty much a checklist for all of your designs and every UI aspect that designing a website or a mobile application or whatever, this is pretty much a checklist for you to go bit by bit and see if you have everything. So let me show you guys what I mean. So let's say that you're designing a login page. You wanna go over to the login section and here it'll literally be a checklist that you can go off and check off. So it's gonna tell you everything that you should have or just to remind you of some things to add, like the logo, the title of, of, the, of the login, the password, the link to reset. So maybe you forgot about this. And so yeah, this is just a really good tool that kind of reminds you of some of the aspects that are really important. And it, it's helpful because it reminds you what you might have missed. <clears throat> What's really good about this is that it has some inspiration here on from Dribble, so you can view buckets. What you don't, if you don't know what buckets are, it's pretty much like a list or a folder with the the the, the shots or the the dribbles. And this is just some really good designs of, of logins or whatever 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 it is that you're designing. And here we've got some real life examples, so we can see the intercom has a really good login. So it's a link to the real life example. And then we have some articles on maybe how to design one really good or what to include. And we can see that this isn't just with pages like a login page, but it's also with elements. And we also have flows and topics and brands. So for example, if you want a search bar to kind of keep going with the, with the login thing, we have input fields, we have the label, the placeholder, and then some optional things. So like previous searches and again with the examples, the, the articles. So this is all really good and best of all, it's completely free. So if you want, you can donate essentially a coffee or you can buy this person a coffee, the, the person that created this. And yeah, it's just a really good free tool that you can use to kind of keep your designs in check and make sure that you are including everything that you need to include in your designs. Next up is a really good website called Mobbin or mobbin.design and if you guys don't know what this is it's pretty much a library of UI elements that you can kind of get in, get inspiration from so you can filter by apps and you can kind of go around and see all the different apps or you can filter by patterns or by elements or by categories so let me show you guys what I mean if you filter by category you get the different kind of category so for example if you're building an app for music you can click on music and here it'll show you some of the music apps that it has on record, right? And so if you go on business, for example, I know that they have a lot more business apps. We can see that here are some screens from business apps, but to really showcase the, the power of this website, you have to go by patterns. So to kind of go on from the login theme that we have here already, if we go on login, this is the real beauty of the app. You can see that it, basically shows examples of logins from so many different apps and from really powerful apps. I mean, these apps are some of the, the, the most famous in the world and the, the most used in the world. Yeah, in, in short, it's it's pretty much a library of patterns and elements that, that you will find in the, in the UI world. And this can be really helpful for you sometimes if you need inspiration or you need to know where where do I need to put this, this specific element of the maybe the, the sign up or the login or whatever it is, if you don't know where to actually place that, then this can be a really good tool for you. Another thing that you can search by is elements. So you have the bars, the containers, the controls, uh, imageries and popovers. So what do some, for example, what do some really good dialogue pop-ups look like? Well, this is some examples. And if you scroll over, it gives you the name of the app that it's taking this, this data from. So here we have Endo, we have the New York Times, Warby Parker. So these are some just some really great apps that you can get some inspiration from for your app or your, I, mean, I guess you could also use this for your uh, mobile design for, for, for a website. 
So moving on with that same theme of getting inspiration from already made websites, another really, really great website is Lapa Ninja. If you don't know what Lapa Ninja is, it's pretty much the same thing that I just showed you. So the mob and dot design site, except it's pretty much a really good snapshot of really powerful landing page. And the good thing about this is that you can filter by different types of landing pages. So for example, if I'm building a, a blockchain site, I can filter by blockchain and here I have just some really good examples. And if you want, you can click on this link and it'll take you to the actual, the actual website that, that it's showcasing. Or you can just simply click on the thing itself, on the little pop-up itself, and it takes you to a a pretty much a one a one page showcase of, of the, the thing so it's pretty much like a big snapshot of what the website looks like and this is just really really good because in the beginning you may be stuck on on getting some ideas some inspiration on, on what your landing page has to look like or what you want it to look like and if you don't have sort of a library or some inspiration from where to, where to get really good designs from then this can be really helpful I know that I've used this in the past with some client websites and my personal website for my actual the my my freelance website that I'm building right now. So I'm using Lapa Ninja for inspiration on those on those uh, metrics. So here we have some really good isometric inspiration. So these are just all designs that have some isometric illustrations or or designs. And then a really good part of Lapa Ninja as well is that it has some really good resources for free. So here we have some free books that you can you can read and I guess they're, they're more like snippets of, of information so you have UI UX you have startups design systems all of that you also have if you go back you also have freebies so these are like mock-ups and icons illustrations things like that 3d kits stay tuned on that I'm gonna make a video on that soon on the best 3d design elements that you can get and yeah, this is Lapa Ninja. It's super, super powerful and I really recommend it. So the next tool is something a bit different that from the rest of the designs that I've showed before. This is pretty much the psychology behind your design. So why are you creating this blog post on the left instead of the right? Or why are you having the heading in this size or in that size? Or pretty much this website or this resource gives you a reason to have your designs in, in certain places. It's pretty much the background on all psychology in the web design world. Another really good thing that they have recently is that they have a YouTube channel that I didn't know about. So it pretty much teaches you and helps you create better design choices. So in this video, for example, it choose, it helps you on how to choose the scope for your personas. And you can also filter by UX topics. So maybe we want to know more about certain design patterns or the psychology in UX. So if you go on design patterns, here we have a lot of articles on, on onboarding. So for example, here, skip it when possible. I didn't know that, right? Or pop-up problems. Here are some really good things to, to keep in mind when you're designing pop-ups. Here, I've clicked on this one already. Uh, great guidelines for, for complex applications. So this is just a really good resource for uh, design articles and essentially the psychology behind why you're designing what you're designing. So it's really good to, to have that in your, in your arsenal. So next up is something a little bit different. It might be something you've already used before because they are super popular and they've been there for many years now already, but ondraw.co slash illustrations is one of the most powerful illustration tools that you can use for free if you're just beginning a website and you need some, some fresh illustrations. This is a really good tool to use. So what you have here is essentially a set of really good illustrations that have the same style and the same characteristics. And you can search for something in specific. So say that maybe you want a, a 404 page or or something like that. Then you have these examples, right? You have so many examples that you can use in your website or in your app. You might have to give them credit when, when, when you are creating this project. I'm not sure on that, you will have to check, but it is really good. Another really good thing is here, you can essentially change the color to match the, the, the color of your brand. And you have a hex code here as well, so you can do it by hex code so you can get that exact color. And when you do that, it changes the color for absolutely all of the illustrations, which is just insanely helpful. So let's say here we have another another example, maybe search, right? So maybe this comes up next to a section where you have search for whatever you need or make sure that you get what you need or something like that. 
And so when you get these designs, you can download them as SVGs or just PNGs. So maybe the SVG, you wanna change specific elements of the design, like make this a little bit wider or shorter or whatever. So yeah, you can just do that and it's super versatile and I've used this so many times in, in so many projects and it's just really good because they have really well done designs essentially. So yeah, these are just some really helpful design tools that you can use for free. Most of them, I think all of them are free except, or maybe they're freemium, but most of them are really good design tools that you can use and, I'm, and I hope that you do use them because they are really helpful in your design career and they can be just super useful to you. So make sure that you do have all of them I will link every one of them in the description so you can take a look. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then leave a like down below and subscribe, do all of that. And I'll see you guys on the next video.